Hello, YouTube! I am Pinstar, and this is Prison Architects Strategy and Tactics, Episode 1. So, yeah, in, um, uh, in our uh, original episode, uh, or Episode 0, I uh, laid out a plan for our prison, and uh, it was my intention to dive right into the construction of said prison uh, at all. However, in between the recording of that and, well, this episode, I have been doing a lot of testing and tweaking and uh, updating of my strategy and realized that while my original strategy uh, was sound, we we're actually sticking to the theme pretty closely it needs some tweaking to uh, to be effective. So we are back here at the drawing board, uh, ready to plan out our prison proper, and it is going to be a good one, or at least I hope it's going to be a good one. Everything I've been testing so far tells me it's going to be a good one, but ultimately, at the end of this series, you guys are going to be uh, poking holes in my, uh, in my prison here and seeing if you can escape. Um, anyway, that's for the end of the series. Uh, so what we're going to do here is start with um, start with a box. As you can see here, I've already drawn out a box in the middle. Now, what is what is this uh, box in the middle going to be? Well, it's only going to be the heart of our prison, the the cloister of our castle, as it were. This is going to be sort of a castle style prison. Um, and not just for, for thematic purposes, but uh, for practical ones. And it's going to look pretty too. So let us get a prisoning, shall we? Now, for those of you who want to know um, uh, about the dimensions of this, this particular little square in the middle is precisely 18 by 15 large. And it is 33 meters from every edge of the map um except for well two of them this edge it's 33 meters away from the edge of where the delivery zones are and the one exception here is that it is only 32 meters from the edge of that one so that's how i got uh, arrived at my at my little initial loop here now what we're going to be doing here, and I'll be explaining uh, the reasoning behind all of this uh, before, later, is this is going to be sort of our central basis here, but we're going to need to expand on it. Um, basically, this right here is going to be our canteen. This is going to be the heart of the prison. Um, now, on the edge right over here is going to be some cells. We need some cells, obviously. You need cells in your prison. So we need to plan out sort of our cell block here. Um, now, as far as planning out a cell block, uh, what we need to do, well, what we need to do is get this built and centered um, so that I can, actually, hang on. The objects here, one, two, three, four. Actually, one, two, three, four, five, and then one, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. That will that will inform us as to the orientation of our cell block. Uh, more on that a little bit later. But what we know is this is going to be sort of our central path here. So again, just for framing purposes, um, we're just going to be planning out a couple of individual cells here, uh, specifically um, five, uh, ten of them. Uh, in, a, in a manner that will hold 20 prisoners, which I will uh, get into in just a moment here. But anyway, let me just plan this out, and I will, uh, I will, I will see you guys on the flip side. Okay, we're back. Uh, so now you might be saying, uh, "Pinstar, that that's not really that." That, that good. I mean, why, 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 why is it slightly narrower than this main base here? Trust me, there's a reason for it. There's a reason for it. Um, and for those of you who, by the way, who are new at Prison Architect, who don't own it, who've never heard of it, and are just curious about the game, I will be going into some of the basics here as to what I'm doing, where I'm putting it, why I'm putting it there, and uh, what, 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 what the rhyme and the reason is behind all of this. I just need to get some baselines in, in place, and then I can get to explaining proper. 
Um, now, uh, one of the other things that we want to plan out here, so we now know what our line is going to be out to the front here. This is going to be sort of our central and, well, only entrance to the prison. Uh, and I want it to line up with here just to, you know, be nice and efficient. Um, so what we're going to do here is we're going to plan out our, our sort of our supportive outer wall block. And unlike the last one, uh, this one is going to be precisely 11 meters wide from wall to wall here, 11 meters. Um, so we're going to just plan this up a little bit here. Two, three, four, five. We'll score that up there. And actually, we don't need these parts here because we're going to be going down with all this. Oops. Get this down here. And we want this one, two, three, four, five, like so. This is going to be our holding cell slash reception area. Uh, this down here is going to be our kitchen. Um, now, before we start putting sort of the rubber to the road and actually get to building some things here, um, I need to plan out one more little set of things. And then as our builders build, we'll plan out more of it so that we're sort of keeping the action flowing here uh, and actually getting stuff done. Um, so what we want to do here is one, two, three, four. We want to plan out one, two, three, four. We want to plan out some offices here. Now, this is the reason why I made this 11 wide, is that you can get two offices next to each other, um, uh, pointing along a little hallway here. Uh, and that way you don't use as much, uh, as much space trying to cram all of our office people in here. One, two, three, four. They need to be minus, minimum four by fours. Excellent. Okay. Uh, so this is sort of the barest of the bones basic that we need to get going here. So let us get going. Um, so read the CEO's letter. Blah, 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 blah. He, he kind of looks like the, the guy who's always demanding more pictures of Spider-Man. Um, I, I forget what his name is, but he, he looks like that guy. But in here he wants prisoners. He doesn't want pictures of Spider-Man. Maybe he wants the prisoners that Spider-Man caught. Uh, accept your first grant. Yes, grants are our <laughs> grants are our friend. Uh, so at the at the moment at the start of the game, you can only uh, have two grants going at once, and the two grants you're gonna want to do is basic detention center because uh, it gives us a huge twenty thousand advance payment, bringing our starting cash from thirty k to fifty uh, k, um, and then another ten k when we finish that. And then Administration Center. Now, this one's not as lucrative, but it's oh so much more important. 5K up front, 5K when you finish it, get it. I don't care if it isn't as lucrative. It is important. In fact, it's so important that it should be the very first thing we do. Uh, oh, yeah. The other thing we're going to want to do here, this prisoner intake is closed. We are going to make sure our prison is good and set up before we let anybody in. Oh, wait. One, one last thing. Um, we're going to turn the ratio down from medium sec to min sec. What that's going to do is that's actually going to boost the number of minimum security people available to us, uh, earlier, uh, earlier on. Cause we're going to start out, um, maybe not the whole prison here, but we're going to start out with just minimum security people. It is always good to start out with just minimum sec. Yes, they are not as lucrative. You do not get as much payment up front for them, but they are so much less demanding and so much less dangerous, which, and that allows you to get the sort of the basis, the foundation of your prison up and running so that uh, you can get all the accoutrement set up in in order to take care of your me medium security and your maximum security people, respectively. Right then. Now we have these plans in place. These plans are not actually orders. This whole planning tool, all that does, allows me to do is just scribble on the land here. It does not actually order our workers to build anything. It does not cost us anything. It doesn't do anything uh, to that regard. But we don't need it to do anything. We just need it for guidance. But what we want to do first and foremost before anything else is uh, get our offices up. Uh, because we want to actually finish the Administrative Center grant before we do anything else. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to grab the the brick and the um, 
uh, concrete here. There's no real functional or financial difference between the two of them. It's just appearance. Oh yeah, I'm going to turn off those automatic lights. We do not like automatic lights. I will place my lights. Thank you very much. But we're going to start out with just the offices. And we're going to build it right here. Yes, I know. Requires entrance. So we're going to plan out our entrance, which is going to be a staff door. And we're going to put it this away. Although, you know what, <laughs> when you think about it, because, well, some of your some of your office people will actually interact with the pr prisoner. So it's good to have the door facing inward so that they get into the rest of the prison uh, just fine. And what you want to do is you want to make that the first and only thing you build right off the right off the start. Um, you know, the next truck will start uh, throwing down your uh, your materials here and then your know, rest of your guys can start building their things. But our most important thing is just to get these set up so that we can get our staff researching. Um, once this once this little area is set up here, then we can go in there and uh, start making sure that the. Uh, you know, we can start populating the areas. We can start throwing down and designating them as offices or what have you. So let's speed things up just a touch here. We might as well tell them to dismantle this tree ahead of time. It's going to be in our way and we need the room up there. All right, we've got the door in there. Once all the pieces have been put and the entrances, wait for it. Though, when you see that happen, that that now has transformed this into an indoor area, quote unquote. Um, so it is now considered indoors. Uh, various buildings and rooms that can only exist in an indoor environment can now be placed in here, like, say, offices. And now, that being said, we just have the outer wall shell here. We don't actually have any inner walls here. So what we're going to do is we're going to plan out everything else. Every, each office is going to need a door. One, two, three, four. Um, and then we're going to start throwing down objects. Actually, also, we also have to designate them as offices. One office. Two office. Three office. Now... For this fourth little, fourth little room right here, we're going to sort of trick the, the game here. The game wants us to build a shower room. The way I have my prison planned out, we're not going to need a dedicated shower room. That's not to say that we're not going to let our, our inmates take showers, um, but uh, we don't, uh, we're not going to make use of a dedicated shower room. However, you need to have one in order to... Uh, uh, fulfill this grant. So just to placate the grant, we're going to make one of these offices temporarily a shower um, and just, you know, get it up to, to code as it were as a shower. And then once this grant is completed, then we'll turn it into a fourth office because that's what it's really there for. All right. Other accoutrement for our offices. Uh, let's get ourselves some lights. And yes, I know we don't have any utilities, so these lights are going to do absolutely nothing right now. That's okay. Um, that light is not actually a requirement for our offices. Uh, our people will research in the dark uh, and be happy about it. Darn it. Uh, so they all need a desk. Two, uh, three, four. A um, filing cabinet and chairs. Ultimately, these are not very expensive to set up. Um, but we need to have them set up in order for our grant to start working here. So, oh yeah, and we also need to tell them to actually build these extra walls in here. I wanted to place the doors first, because what you want to do is you place the doors first, they prevent you from having to build the walls there, so your people, your workmen aren't building walls and then tearing down a section of wall, wasting the materials and the money um, uh, in order to get that going there. Oh yeah, the other thing, and this is a tip that I'm going to re reiterate um, uh, from before is that we want to get this whole area down here uh, set to concrete so that people move faster. Um, that will be important to, well, everything that we do here, including as actually especially um, this little tree area. Oh, actually, it looks like it, it it's already concreted it did. 
So that will make that go a bit faster. All right, let us get our warden. Now see, the, the office counts, so now we can start researching our finance person. Because this is time-based, you want this going as soon as possible. Uh, which is why we're starting with our offices here. I mean, we don't need the other ones quite so quickly, but we might as well start the office block. Oh yeah, with the shower in order to uh, trick it into succeeding, we're just going to stick a random shower head here. That's not going to stay there. We're not even going to hook that up to plumbing. Um, that Because that's not what that room is ultimately going to be. But we need it in there to placate the game. Right then. Now, the other parts of our thing here is we need a, uh, a yard, a kitchen, a canteen, um, and of course some, some, uh, some other good things here. So the other parts of our, um, we're going to go more foundation. Now, a little trick here. If you want this wall to be torn down when you're adding on to it, then include it in, in this part right here. But we don't want that. Uh, what we want here is to just do it on the outside, like this. And that will get that up and running. Which will ultimately be our uh, um, our holding cell and our uh, kitchen. Both very important and, well, required for this. And yes, requires entrance. We will have a couple of entrances here for you. This is going to be sort of our main, main entrance to our jail here. So people will come in and out through this cell and leave through this one. Um, do I want to? You know what? I think I'm going to... No, 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 no. I don't want a jail door here. Jail door, cancel that. Because what I think I'm going to do here, what I think I'm going to do here is um, make it a make it one space higher. Let me get to my planning tool here. Because this this area, this pathway right here, gets a lot of traffic. So. One, two, three, four, five, like so. There we go. That's better. And we will update our... Uh, that's better. Okay. Uh, and then we'll update with that with large jail doors. Oh, well, we can't place that one, but we can place that one. Oh, that's the other thing. So we are going to be having little chunks of wood um, down here. I'm not actually going to be setting up a export zone um, because I actually want to hold on to them for a bit. So what we're going to do is we're going to put down a storage zone down on the opposite side here. Um, just, just, just along here, like so. So that um, when they have... Um, uh, areas sort of set down and trees chopped up. They can just put the logs over in storage until we're ready for them. We won't be ready for them for a while, but we'll be getting there. Everyone's chopping trees, it's slowing things down just a touch, but that's okay. We can speed time up. And I think even with the trees on here, yeah, it'll still finish. So they're chopping trees down that are technically indoors. But that's okay. We can we can get to planning in here. Um, so uh, what we want to do here, uh, we're going to stick with the, the brick here. Like so. Uh, this is going to be our kitchen down here. And then up here, this is going to be our holding cell. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll, we'll put the door, we'll stagger the doors a little bit so not everyone is bumping into each other. So, let us label these appropriately. Kitchen. 
and holding cell like so i'll uh well let's start let's start uh placing down stuff in the kitchen since our holding cell is sort of busy with other things in it uh so for our kitchen here we want uh, a fairly high capacity kitchen uh right from the get-go so this is probably going to be more than we actually need ultimately speaking but it's still uh it's still going to be an important investment um Let's see, if we put this down here, yeah, now we'll do this here. I like to have a bin in the kitchen, like over here. I also like to have a metal detector in the kitchen. Uh, more on that later. Now, you want, uh, oh, I'd say, slightly more fridges than you have cookers, but you want your fridges to be accessible to your cookers. So we go fridge, fridge. Um, and then cooker, cooker, and then we'll do cooker, cooker, and then back here, it's slightly awkward on, on the uh, spacing, uh, so we can do, we can do fridge, 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 that's a lot of fridges. But that's good enough. And yes, I know, nothing is going to have power in here. Oh yeah, we need some lights. Light, light. We also need some lights in here. Light, light. All right, so that's going to get our kitchen up and ready. As you can see, we, we've crossed off kitchen. Uh, we've, also, we've also crossed off shower because the game has considered this to be functional enough to uh, for the reward. Now, as far as this doubt here, this, this one right here, I think what we're going to do is we're actually just going to use a regular jail door instead of the, uh, the double wide. The reason being is another metal detector. Um, we're going to screen people coming through into the main part of our prison before they leave this area. More on that later. I'll tell you, I'll trust me. I'll be explaining my rhyme and reason for everything. Now on to our uh, our other good. Oh yeah, we can kit out our uh, holding cell here, uh, so that it qualifies. Uh, so we need a bench and a toilet. Once again, just like with the shower, I'm not a big fan of the holding cell. This is actually going to be our reception area, but we are going to placate the game uh, in terms of. Uh, uh, of getting the, the stuff down that it requires so that we can get our reward. Gotta get, gotta get that reward. Gotta get the monies. Because trust me, you cannot build a, a, a good prison, uh, or at least a sizable prison, um, for, with your starting uh, funds without some of that, uh, some of that green there for you. Um, and that's what the grants are there for. They're also there too for for a newer player who are, might not be um, too too understanding on what to do first in the game might be a little overwhelmed um, that the grants kind of point you in the right direction for what you need to do. That being said, I think they lay they uh, well. I'm not going to categorically say that the holding cell and the shower are bad rooms. Just the way that I build my prisons, they don't fit into that way that I build them. All right, they are uh, bringing all that in, but I think it is time to get them busy with our next blocks here. Uh, we are going to actually just start with the canteen building. We'll build the cell building afterwards, but I, and we're actually going to make the center area concrete. Like I said, it's it's no difference in cost, no difference in its ability to keep people out. Um, it's just aesthetics, so we have a, a sort of a nicer looking outer wall, but then a uh, concrete soulless inner wall here. And that is going to be our canteen. It's going to be a big canteen, much bigger than what we actually are going to need it, need in the early, early game. Uh, how are we? All right, we're almost through uh, enough with finance. Uh, what you, the other, another trick you can do here is if, um, um, you want to think of, if you're thinking of it, you can queue up one more research 
at to to start up immediately after you finish that one. So after finance, uh, I want our warden working on a maintenance guy, but that's not going to start until he finishes finance. But that's fine. We can queue it up, and that extra five hundred dollars that we're paying earlier on, that's not going to break our bank. And once uh, once finance is done, we can hire our finance person and then have her start doing research. While all the re all the while our uh, people are doing their things, cash flow is holding steady, and like I said, we'll getting we'll be getting windfalls. All right, got that. Hire an accountant. Yes, sir. Boom, got an accountant. Um, it's also really important to get your accountant early because see this up here, this daily cash flow. Um, this the game is this is sort of a rough rough, ugh, rough estimation of your financial income or losses. The problem is is that if this goes negative, you cannot hire new people without an accountant. An accountant allows you to hire more people even if this is in the negatives. Um, but if this goes into the negatives before you've hired your accountant, you cannot hire your accountant. It becomes kind of a vicious cycle. You have to start sacking people in order to get this back up before you can hire your accountant. So to avoid that, get your accountant hired ASAP, and they will give you the financial flexibility to hire whoever the hell you need uh, to get the prison up and running. Um, and you can also have her get started on researching her things, starting with the extra grant. This absolutely is your A number one priority um, because uh, an extra grant allows you to have three grants act active at once. More grants means more money and more money is everything. All right. Uh, they are going to need an entrance here. We are actually just going to put in a regular door right here. Not a jail door, just a regular door. Don't just uh, trust me. Methods to my madness here. Um, it also wants us to have a yard. We'll the, the yard's probably going to be the last thing that we uh, throw down here because it's going to involve us building out our cell block here a little bit. Well, not building it out, but at least the shell of it. This will start uh, creating itself shortly. We just need someone to put, uh, yeah, pet, fill in that one little patch of concrete and they'll be fine. And there it goes. Kaboom. Excellent. All right. So what I'm going to do here is well, let's plan out our, our, our shell of a cell block here. This like that. We will also populate out our canteen. Again, this is going to be massively overbuilding this canteen for what we need. This is going to be an insanely huge canteen for the start of our prison. But it's, well, trust me, this is going to be, I'm, this canteen sort of inspired the rest of this whole prison. So, uh, you know, the design of it anyway. And this right here, these little fiver spacers, the, the little thing that I planned out at the beginning of the episode here. That's what these things are. One right there, and one right there. And we're going to do the same thing on this side. One right here, one right here. Do we need four serving tables for a, you know, a tiny little prison? No. But again, massively overbuilding um, in the very beginning, just so that we can plan things out. Um, get some lights in here. And yes, I know I still haven't built any utilities. I'm working on it, game. Don't worry. Um, now, as far as our um, tables and chairs here, what I like to do is with the benches is I like giving them um, sp like one space away from other things. So one, two, three, four. And actually, with these, if I remember correctly, one, four, three, four. Yeah, these need to be orientated the other way. Uh, so one, two, three, just so that people can get to them. I kind of like it slightly tighter in here. Like that. There we go. And then we just sandwich tables in between all of them. One, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Lots of eating space around here. And a little bit of room up here in the corner for what, you know, maybe something else. Uh, so that is going to be our canteen, and we're going to get our builders building that. We're also going to get them on there. Now, um, I know what you're thinking. We Pinstar, you still need those utilities. Well, not according to this. In fact, we completed that first grant, so we can go digging for our next one. Uh, the next grant that we are going to have here is... Um, Oh, we need to complete basic detention center so we can get that. Uh, let's see. We could do staff well-being initiative. That's actually not a bad one. Um, yeah, I don't want to do the investments just yet because they cost you money up front in order to get money later on. But right now we're going to need every cent we have at the moment. So we'll get staff well-being initiative. And actually we can work on uh, completing it. Um... So let's extend out our uh, our thing over here. Let's uh, let's go up a little bit. We'll go up one. Actually, before we before we commit to brick and mortar, let's plan it out to make sure our dimensions are correct. For a staff room, one, two, three, four. You need it uh, just a minimum of four. That's all you really need. Uh, you could maybe expand it later on. In fact, you know what? Let, let's let's make let's give them let's just pre expand it. We'll make it a five by five. That seems to be a good standard size, even if it only requires a four by four, because it's gonna it's gonna see a lot more traffic as our prison grows. Uh, so then, yes, brick like that. Get that on there. And requires an entrance. That will be a staff door. What do you require? Fully enclosed? What are you talking about? Oh, you don't have a door there, derp. You need a jail door. But they'll put that in there soon enough. All right, let's speed things up. Also, you'll notice that uh, I'm not doing my enclose the outside part. Oh, <laughs> oops, forgot the door. Game, why didn't you yell at me for not putting a door there? And yeah, we're gonna, this, this one is going to be a jail door. And yeah, you guys are kind of trapped here. Whoopsie daisy. Oh, well, you just teleported it to you. That works. Yeah, these will these will get put in. Yeah, they might say I can't place that item, but soon it, they'll they'll realize that the way has now been open. Yep, there it goes. Yeah, plenty of trees uh, to destroy here. All right, so we've got our staff room uh, planned out here. Let's actually create the staff room itself. We'll wait for them to fell these trees before I start uh, populating it. The other thing that we need to do here is uh, get our yard. Now, our yard has to be fully enclosed. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just build a fence along here. Like here and here. And that will, in, uh, once built properly, enclose this little area here. The six uh, meter wide yard. And this is going to be sort of our almost like a moat to our prisoners and the outside uh, areas here. Now, this has to get fully enclosed before the game will consider it a yard. But once it is, then it will be considered a yard. This will be, consi this will be uh, considered a canteen pretty soon. Um, and then we can just hire a whole bunch of people uh, to get the, our rewards here ticked off. Oh yeah, let's actually uh, kit out our staff room now that we can. Uh, now the staff room, a lot of people have problems keeping, if you're playing with staff needs on, which we are, uh, a lot of people have problems uh, keeping their staff happy. Um, uh, but I will show you probably the best way to do that. 
um, is to building a really good staff room and more importantly, building it with everything in it that you could possibly want. Um, now, staff have several needs, one of which is to use the bathroom. The problem is when you build a sort of a side area um, that's, you know, the, you know, sort of like wall it off and put doors there, the game doesn't actually consider that a uh, that that toilet. A, that little bathroom as part of the staff room. So staff don't necessarily know to go there when they need to use the bathroom. So despite um, you know, social mores and what have you, um, you're probably better off just um, having the toilets right here in the staff room itself. So we're going to put two toilets up here. Um, now the other things that we're going to want to put here... Um, staff have a warmth need uh, so we are going to put a radiator in here um, uh, because we have temperature turned on a lot of the reason for staff being angry is that they're going to be too cold especially when it well is cold out um, but if you have the radiators in the in the staff room they'll be able to warm themselves now as far as entertainment goes we need a where's that widescreen tv not the regular TV. We need the widescreen one. We need the big one. There we go. Large TV. And we will put this up here. And this will basically project to the whole room uh, so that uh, the staff may watch it and be entertained. Now, one of the other things is you need a drink machine. I don't actually think they use a drink machine properly, uh, but it is required for the staff room to be considered a staff room. Um, another item that we uh, need here is a serving table. The staff need to eat. Uh, so by having a servings table in, in the staff room, you'll be able to uh, get everyone uh, uh, something to eat. All right, so the la uh, last but not least, you need wide sofas. They need some place comfy to sit. They need some place comfy to eat their food. Um, and this is how we will be giving, uh, giving them both of those. Uh, so we're going to do wide sofa, wide sofa, wide sofa, wide sofa, and then we'll do little sofa. Um, little sofa, little sofa, little sofa, little sofa. Beautiful. Uh, then we get some lights in here. And uh, I think uh, I think we'll be good. Uh, that will that will give us everything that we need in a beautifully designed staff room able to meet all of their needs. Um, and once the staff room is actually properly kitted out, uh, I'll just be able to hire a few more people. We'll get rid of our, uh, our de basic detention center. We'll get, we'll uh, hire a couple of guards, a couple of cooks for that, we'll get that and blow out our, uh, our, 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 um, grants so that we may, um, may, uh, take out a few more ones because more grants means more goodies. Also, having a staff room up and running early will be good so that it'll actually give your staff a place to rest when they do actually legitimately get tired. And you guys are researching uh, away here uh, so that we might uh, continue building uh, stuff for our prison. Yeah, you lazy bums are not want are wanting to go all the way around here because it involves going through fewer doorways, even though they are propped open at the moment. All right, uh, yeah, you, uh, our warden just finished maintenance, which is perfect for our next grant. Um, I want you working on psychology next. And I want our maintenance person. Now that we've unlocked maintenance, we can hire a foreman. And I want a foreman. This is why we built extra offices here, is so that we can uh, just just get on those right away. And we can get him working on cleaning. There you go. See, he's working on cleaning because that is also going to be extremely important here for us. Uh, if you want to prioritize them making something, you can control click it and that will tell the workers to build that thing first. So I'm prioritizing that drink machine um, and also one of the wide sofas so that we get the bare bones basics set in there so the staff room can count as staff room.
All right. Um, and our accounting person is done. Well, trust me, we'll be taking more grants momentarily, but let's get uh, bank loan researched. Uh, just in case we run into some financial problems, it's good to have that option in there. Oh yeah, our yard is still not a yard yet because we still need to finish building this and that'll stop these guys from trying to sneak around here at the bottom. But more importantly, once these are put in here, our staff room will be a staff room. All right, so now all we need is five guards and two cooks, which will satisfy all of those. And once our yard becomes a yard, we will have that grant taken care of as well. And just a couple more pieces. Come on, dude, you can do it. I sneak this in at the last second. Boom. Okay, folks, we've completed all of our grants and we can take three more grants to get more money uh, in our next episode. So in our next episode, yes, we will be getting our prison up and running proper. And we'll also be getting some power on in here. <laughs> uh, so don't you worry. Uh, so if you guys like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a comment. Good, bad, or different, your feedback's always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya!